finger doodle, doodle fingers here. <laughs> 101. How's everybody? I've been very busy this whole summer. My kids are home, so it's impossible to videotape anything. Um, I just want to let you guys know that I've been taking something called diatomaceous earth, food grade. And I emphasize the word food grade. Um, let me tell you exactly what it, uh, what it does. Um, this is, um, it is diatomaceous earth. How does it work? It is a powder containing about 80 to 90% silica. Diatomaceous earth is thought to kill insects. Hold on a second. Insects by dehydrating them or drying them out. Also, the powder allows liquids to flow through um, while, nurture, while eliminating unwanted materials. You know what? I think it would be a lot easier. I don't even have my cell phone here. I thought I did. I think it's better for me to explain to you through this because I've been taking it and it's um hmm, it's it's very fine powder and while I'm looking for it I'm going to tell you how it's been making me feel now please remember again it is diatomaceous earth food grade it is used in a lot of industrial uh, it has a lot of industrial uses also, um, as far as uh, killing insects, uh, roaches, uh, it has a whole bunch of other things, but, um, but that is, uh, here we go, here we are, I'm going to read to you exactly what it is, and the nutrients it has, diatomaceous sources, a unique type of sand that consists of fossilized algae, okay? It has been mined for decades and has numerous industrial applications. More recently, most, re most recently, it has appeared on market as dietary supplements promoting as ha having several health benefits, okay? And what is the diatomaceous earth? Diatomaceous earth is a naturally occurring sand extracted from the earth. It consists of microscopic skeletons of algae known as diatoms that have fossilized over millions of years. There are two main types of diatomaceous earth, food grade, which is suitable for consumption, and filter grade, which is in, inedible but has many industrial uses. Diatoms and diatomaceous earth are largely made up of chemical compound called silica. Silica is commonly found in nature as a component of everything from sand and rocks to the plant and humans. However, diatomaceous earth is a concentrated source of silica, which makes it unique. Commercially available diatomaceous earth is said to contain 80 to 90% silica, several other trace minerals, and small amounts of iron oxide rust. Food grade and filter grade variety silica exist in two main forms, crystalline and amorphous non-crystalline. The sharp crystalline form looks like glass under a microscope. It has properties that make it desirable for numerous industrial applications. Not the one we take. So we're, we're explaining the crystalline and the non-crystalline, okay? The one we take is non-crystalline, which is food grade, okay? So it says the two main types of diatomaceous earth vary in their concentrations of crystalline silica. Food grade, this type contains 0.5 to 2% crystalline silica and is used as an insecticidal and insecticide and an anti-caking agent in the agriculture and food industries. It is approved for by the EPA, USDA, and FDA. Filter grade, also known as non-food grade, this type contains upward of 60% crystalline silica. It is toxic to mammals, but has many industrial uses 
including water filtration and dynamite production. But that's not the one I, I use. I use free grade. I, I'm reading it. It's like, huh? What am I taking? Hmm. It, it's good. Okay, here we go. Diatomaceous earth is an insecticide. Dang, I wish it would stop saying this so much. Because it's like, oh my God. But it, this isn't killing me, guys. I'm telling you. I hope not. Okay, food grade diatomaceous earth is often used as a as an insecticide. Shit. When it comes in contact with an insect, the silica removes the waxy outer coating from the insect's ex exoskeleton. Without this coating, the insect cannot retain water and dies of dehydration. Some farmers believe that adding diatomaceous earth to livestock feed kills internal worms and parasites through similar mechanisms, but this use remains unproven. Now, if anybody out there is saying, that, why the hell is she taking it? She doesn't really know a lot about it. Why do we take a lot of things? because we see results in others, hoping that we're gonna have those results. But I can say that lately I've been taking it and I feel great. I feel really good. And I'm going to let you know exactly my opinion on it, uh, my experiences, and uh, my hopes of continuing this and why. So, Summary, it says, diatomaceous earth is used as an insecticide to remove the waxy outer coating from the exoskeleton of insects. Some believe that it can also kill parasites, but this, is, this needs further research. Okay. Um, does diatomaceous earth have health benefits? Well, this is the part. My dog is trying to tell me that he needs to go potty. So, do you need to go potty? Yes? Okay. Let's take you potty. Let's, let's open the side glass door. Come on. Sorry, guys. Dog needs to go. Dog needs to go. Alright. Go. Go do your thing. Okay. Alright. So here we go. Health benefits. Ready? It says here, am I eight minutes? I'm eight minutes into this. So, food grade diatomaceous earth has recently become popular as a dietary supplement. It is claimed to have the following, it is claimed, it is claimed to have the following health benefits. Cleanse the digestive tract, support healthy digestion, improve cholesterol and heart health. In my family, we have hereditary um, high cholesterol so let's see how this goes. I have to have a blood work done in September. Oh no, I have to see the doctor in September. I have to have blood work done at the ending of August. We'll see then for sure. Um, it also provides the body with trace minerals, improve bone health, promote hair growth, promote skin health, and strong nails. However, not many quality human studies have been done on diatomaceous earth as a supplement. So most of these claims are theoretical and anecdotal. Basically right now I'm a guinea pig. I'll let you know. Supplement manufacturers claim the diatomaceous earth has many health benefits, but they have not been proven in studies. you know um it says here silica silicone the non-oxidized form of silicone is one of the many minerals stored in your body now he's barking because he wants to come inside there is um uh, there is a joke that says i don't let my dog control me at all ever 
yet I let him in by seven times, 17 times in and out during the day. Um, go and do that right now. Okay, you're coming back inside. All right, come on, back inside. All right, now leave me alone. You got your way, you got your way. Oh my God. You got your way, don't start with me now. Okay, let's go back. Let me just read to you something that don't we always, when we do our researches, do we really read everything? Do we really want to know something that may prove us wrong? We try and read something that says, ah, but look what this says. Okay, I saw a little something says effects on toxins. Diatomaceous earth may lower cholesterol levels. I, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Um, it's the safety of diatomaceous earth. Okay, food grade diatomaceous earth is safe to consume. Is safe to consume. Again, it is safe to consume. It passes through your digestive system unchanged and does not enter the bloodstream. It's not poisonous. However, however, you need to be very careful not to inhale diatomaceous earth. Doing so will irritate your lungs much like the inhalation of dust. <clears throat> but the silica makes it exceptionally harmful. Take the powder, but don't inhale it. You're not taking the powder, by the way. You're putting it in water or anything that you like. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to stop reading. Um, basically, you get the gist of it. Diatomaceous earth and food grade, please. For those of you who are, would like to know more information about it, look it up and you be the judge of it. But what I'm going to tell you right now is the benefits I've noticed, what I've noticed from it. And it's only been three weeks. Well, I'm going to say three weeks. I think it's been three weeks. And I will tell you that at the very beginning, I did take it one teaspoon in the daytime for about three days. And then I started doing a teaspoon and a half day and night. And now I'm at a kid. This has been three weeks. Now I'm at a tablespoon in the morning, tablespoon, not truly at night, like around five o'clock. And the difference is the very beginning, the difference was is that it calmed me down where I, I was like yawning and yawning. It didn't do anything that hurt my belly or anything like that. If anything, it helped me poop. Um, and it was a different type of poop. It was a nice poop. And I'm going to talk about poop because pooping is something everybody does. And it feels great to poop nicely, doesn't it? Um, so you feel good when you poop. Um, it is different. Uh, it almost looks like an intestinal kind of poop. It looks good. To me, I say it looks good. It looks good. I, I'm one of those that looks at my poop and I am, I applaud myself. Good girl, you did good. That's what I do. Um, um, I feel relaxed. I feel like when I do take it, it, it's not a matter of like being focused. It's, it's a matter of following through of something you thought of doing. Say, okay, okay, I want to organize this table. I'm going to clean it. I'm going to put everything on the side. Then I'm going to put it all back. And you follow through with it. So it, it does that in an odd way. Um, it really does. I, I feel really good. I feel much more flexible. My joints feel great. It's very odd, but it does work for me. And if it means I'm reading all this and I'm actually a guinea pig, then sure, I'll, I'll be the guinea pig. But I love it. I really love it. And as far as mixing it, it's amazing. Because it, it easily dissolves into the water. You, shake, you move it around and you drink it. I, now, if I can describe the taste, it literally, and when I mean this, it literally tastes as if 
the smell that you get when you, when the asphalt or the sidewalk cement, the cement after it's rained and the cement is hot, but you smell off of the cement, the, the, the rain after it rained and you get that smell. Oddly, if you could put that smell into tasting it, it's exactly the same. I like clay. I like to smell earth. It's earthy. I love it. So, up to you whether a lot of people call this, uh, what do they call it? Um, snake, snake, uh, snake medicine or something uh, in the back, in the back day, back in those days. Um, also, they call it mumbo jumbo or, or whatever they call it. I, I don't remember. But hey, I'm trying it and I'm whatever. I like it. So other than that, I will be videotaping more. I see I'm at my 16th. Hopefully I don't have to cut this off in pieces. And I would like to thank all of you that are new to this channel. I really appreciate it. I really want to get to a thousand and beyond if possible. Please like and subscribe. And um, press that notification bell so that when I when I keep on putting updates and more things of what's going on in my life, that you'll be the first one to be notified. So I want you to have a wonderful day and I will keep you updated with the diatomaceous earth. Oh, one more thing I forgot to tell you. Um, one thing I have noticed, even though it's been so soon, I have noticed I used to have more of a patch here of no hair and now I've got little fine hairs growing now which I did not have before you know to be able to do something like this not this side but it's in here I have noticed that so I guess we're going to be going by that this side is fine this side's been missing so I guess that's what we'll do we'll keep on I'll keep on showing you this and that'll be the judge right we'll do that thumbs up bye bye Love you. Have a wonderful day.